Ayan. So, first po, alamin po muna natin what is geometry. So, the word geometry comes from the Greek words meaning to measure the earth. Basically, geometry is the study of shapes and is one of the oldest branches of mathematics. So, take note guys, ang geometry po, that is the study of shapes and that is the one of the oldest branches of mathematics. Ayan. Geometry comes from the Greek words meaning to measure the earth. So, that is the branch of the mathematics concerned with the shapes of individual objects, spatial relationships among the various objects on the properties of surrounding space. And it, it is the one of the oldest branches of mathematics. So, please take note po na ang geometry that is the one of the oldest branches of mathematics. Then, the next one is the Greeks and the Euclid. So, our modern understanding of geometry began with the Greeks over 2,000 years ago. So, the Greeks felt the need to go beyond merely knowing certain facts to being able to prove why they were true. So, around 350 before Christ, Euclid of Alexandria wrote the elements in which he recorded systematically all that was known as uh, about geometry at that time. So, Euclid of Alexandria, that is to distinguish him from Euclid of Megara, was a Greek mathematician often referred to as the founder of geometry. So, Euclid, po, that is a uh, father of geometry or the founder of the geometry. The elements, knowing that you can define everything and you can prove everything. So, Euclid began by stating three undefined terms. So, ano po ito? We have point, straight line, and plane surface. So, actually, Euclid did attempt to define these basic terms. Okay? So, point is that which has no part. So, as in tuldok lang po siya, no part. So, that is point. And then, the straight line is a line that lies evenly with the points on itself. Line, straight line. And then, the plane surface, that uh, that is a plane that lies evenly with the straight lines on itself. So, plane surface po ang tawag doon. So, we have the basic terms and definition. Ayan. A ray starts at a point called the end point and extends indefinitely in one direction. So, while the line segment is a part of a line and has two end points. So, observe niyo yung dalawa, yung ray and line segment. Si ray po, yung array starts at a point and then nag-extend po siya. Makikita niyo may arrow sa uh, pa right side, nag-extend po siya. So, that is a ray starts, a ray, while the line segment nag-end po siya ng two End point. So, end to end po yung line segment. Yun po yung kaibahan ng line segment and then yung ray. So, an angle is formed by two rays with the same end point. So, ayan. So, yung vertex, meron po siya uh, two sides. Ayan, same, same end point po yung angle. is formed by two rays with the same end point. Ayan, isa lang po yung pinaganuhan nila, yung vertex. An angle is measured in degrees. So the angle formed by a circle has a measure of 360 degrees. So ito pong makikita nyo dito na circle, may measure po siya na 360 degrees. A right angle has a measure of 90 degrees. So please take note, kung si circle po ang measure po ni circle is 360, then yung right angle naman has a measure of 90 degrees. Next one is the straight angle has a measure of 180 degrees. Okay, so kung mapapansin ninyo, yung straight angle po, ang, sa, ang measure po niya is 180 degrees. And then yung circle is 360. Then yung right angle is 90 degrees. A simple closed curve is a curve that we can trace without going over any point more than once while beginning and ending at the same point. So a polygon is a simple closed curve composed of at least three line segments called sides. So the point at which two sides meet is uh, called vertex. 
So kung mapapansin ninyo ang polygon po, that is a two-dimensional geometric figure that has a finite number of sides. So the sides of polygon are made of straight line segments connected to each other end to end. Okay? So the line segment of a polygon are called sides or edge. Then a regular polygon is a polygon with sides of equal length. Ayan, so, meron po ako ipapakita sa inyo. We have the number of sides of polygon and then yung name po ng polygon. So, please pakitake note po ito kasi magtatanong po ako sa inyo. Mamaya, okay? So, the number of sides, yung three number of sides, the name of polygon is triangle. And then yung four sides, that is quadrilateral. Five sides is pentagon. And then six, hexagon. Yung 7 is heptagon, 8 is octagon, and 9 is nonagon, and then 10 is decagon. Guys, uh, balikan po natin yung polygon. Poly means, ano po ang ibig sabihin po ng poly? Many. Many. Okay, gon means? Sides. Okay, so polygon has many sides. Ayan. Sige, bago po tayo mag-proceed uh, sa quadrilaterals, so may question po ako, what is the number of sides of pentagon? Five. 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 Okay, very good. Five. Five. How about the octagon? Eight. 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 Decagon? Ten po. Ten. 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 Hexagon? Six. 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 Okay. Very good. Ayan. So, next is the quadrilateral. So, ito naman po yung ating aralin. I quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. So, we can further classify the quadrilaterals. Ayan. Trapezoid is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of Parallel sides. Then, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Kite is a quadrilateral in which two pairs of adjacent sides are congruent. Rhombus is a quadrilateral in which all sides are congruent. Ipapakita ko po sa inyo mamaya yung mga uh, shapes nito. Kasi mas maganda pa rin po na makita ninyo yung shapes para ma-identify niyo po talaga, okay? Then, a rectangle is a quadrilateral also in which all angles are congruent of 90 degrees. And yung square. A square is a quadrilateral in which all four sides are congruent and all four angles are congruent. And of course, 90 degrees din po yung square. Ayan. So, as you can see, from general to specific, yung quadrilateral, ayan, di ba yung quadrilateral as a four-sided polygon? And then, meron po tayong trapezoid. Ano nga po yung sa trapezoid? Ano po yung mapapansin ninyo dito sa trapezoid? One pair parallel lines po. Okay, so yung trapezoid, that is a quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. So mapapansin ninyo dito sa trapezoid, kabilaan po, that is a parallel sides. And then the next one is the parallelogram. Ayan, parallelogram, that is a quadril quadrilateral in which both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. And then, the next one is yung kite. Yung kite naman, that is a quadrilateral in which two pairs of adjacent sides are congruent. And then, yung rhombus naman, uh, all sides are congruent. So, mapapansin nyo po dito, kita nyo po ba? Yes, po. Okay. And then, yung rectangle, that is a quadrilateral in which all angles are congruent to 90 degrees. And the last one is square. That is a quadrilateral in which all four sides are congruent and four angles are congruent. So, next naman po, ay alamin naman po natin yung perimeter and area. So, what is a perimeter? Who can read? 
Okay, Carl Cruz. Perimeter and area. The perimeter of a plane geometric figure is the measure of the distance around the figure. Alright, so ayan. So example po dito sa shape na rectangle. So yung perimeter po, ito po yung measure of the distance. While the area, the area of a plane geometric figure is the amount of surface in a region. So, this observe po maigi, perimeter po yung tawag doon sa measure of the distance. And then, yung, yung area, yan po yung amount of surface in a region. Ayan. So, next one is triangle. Ayan. So, yung uh, formula for finding the perimeter of the triangle, ipag-plus nyo lang po yung side by side. A plus B plus C. So, the height of a triangle, so, ayan po yung may makikita nyo, may makikita kayo dyan. The height of a triangle is a measured perpendicular to the base. Ayan. Okay, so yung area po ng triangle, one half times base times height. Then, the rectangle and square. Kung mapapansin nyo po dito sa perimeter, sa rectangle po, two width plus two length. Bakit po ganun? Kasi po, dalawa po yung width natin, dalawa din yung length. Na ito po yun. Kaya, pinag two, two times width plus two times length. Pwede rin pong gawin ninyo ng uh, ipag-plus nyo yung side by side, pero mas madali pong i-identify kapag ganito na lang po ang, uh, ang gamitin ninyo na formula two width plus two length. Ang area naman po niya, i-multiply nyo lang po yung length times width sa pagkuha po ng perimeter and area ng rectangle. And then, yung sa square naman, ayan. Kung mapapansin ninyo, sa square, di ba same side lang po sila lahat. Kaya, ang formula po ng perimeter, 4S lang po siya. Okay? 4S lang po. So, yung 4 side, kung ano po yung value ni side ng bawat side po ng square, isubtitute nyo lang po dyan. Tapos, yung area niya, S squared. So, i-squared nyo lang po yung side ng bawat side ng square. Then, yung parallelogram, we have 2A plus 2B. So, pareho lang po siya doon sa uh, rectangle. Then, yung area. Ayan. Height. Tapos yung base. So, area of a parallelogram, area of a rectangle with width. Yung width po natin is height and then the length po yung base. So, yung area, height times base. Ayan. Nasundan po ba? Opo. Okay, next is yung trapezoid. Yung perimeter po ng trapezoid, A plus B plus C plus D. Then yung area, ayan. So, si trapezoid po yan po ay half ng paralelogram. So, makikita niyo po siya dito. Ayan, tingnan niyo maigi. Di ba, nag-form na po siya ng paralelogram. So, since trapezoid po yung kukunin nating perimeter at yung area, so ito po yung magiging formula po natin. Half, ayan, half times height, then A plus B. So, paralelogram with a base, yung base po ni paralelogram, di ba, A plus B, and yung height niya is A plus B. But, the trapezoid, is a half of the parallelogram. So, ito po yung ating formula na gagamitin. Area is equals to one half, then times height plus A plus B. Okay, so pangalanan nyo nga po ito kung ano po name ng polygon na to. Meron po siyang sides na ilang sides po ito? Six po. Six po. Six sides. O, ano pong pangalan yan? What name of the polygon? Hexagon po. Hexagon. Ayan. Next one. Pentagon. Pentagon. Okay, very good. Okay, so what 
is the perimeter of triangle with sides of length. We have 1.5 cm and 3.4 cm and 2.7 cm. Sige nga, pakisog nga po ito kung ano po ang sagot ninyo. The question is, what is the perimeter of triangle? 7.6 cm po. Ayan. So, ang, the answer is, ano po ang sagot? 7.6 cm. Ayan. Very good. So, 7.6 cm. And the next one, the perimeter of a regular pentagon is 35 inches. So, what is the length of each side? Again, the perimeter of a regular pentagon is 35 inches. Ayan, 35 po inches yung regular pentagon. The question is, what is the length of each side? Seven po. Okay, very good. Seven. Paano po nakuha yung seven? Si 35 po, i-divide lang po natin sa five. Kasi five side lang po yung pentagon. So, therefore, seven inches. Next one, a parallelogram has a base of length 3.4 cm and then the height measures is 5.2 cm. What is the area of the parallelogram? Ayan, so 5.2 po yung height, then yung base naman is 3.4 so, ang area po is base times height. So, 3.4 times 5.2. The answer is, tama po ba ang sagot ninyo? Tama po ba ang sagot ninyo? Ma'am, ano po? 17.68 cm. po. Yeah, 3.4 times 5.2 so 17.68 so nagkamali lang paglagay so 17.86 so nagkabaliktad ayan so 17.68 cm squared po yung area ng ating parallelogram okay next the width of a rectangle is 12 feet if the area is 312 feet squared so what is the length of the rectangle so, kung we, ang width po ng rectangle natin is 12, then yung area is 312. So, ano daw po yung length ng rectangle? 26 po. Okay. Ayan. 26. So, i-check po natin. Ang pag-check lang po dito, si 12, yung ano natin, yung width ng rectangle, ita-times lang po natin kay 26. So, the answer is 312. So, ibig sabihin, tama po na ang length ay 26 feet. Check po. Okay, next, proceed na po tayo sa circle. A circle is a plane figure in which all points are equidistant from the center. So, the radius R is a line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. So, tandaan niyo yung radius po, nag-start po siya sa gitna, yung pinaka-center. Okay, the center of the circle to any point on the circle. So, yun po yung sa radius. And then, the diameter, D, is the line segment across the circle through the center. So, straight line po siya sa end-to-end uh, -end po ng circle. Then, the circumference, C of a circle is the distance around the circle. C is equals to, ang formula po ng circumference, 2 pi r. Then, the area of a circle is A is equals to pi r squared. So, ayan, tingnan nyo po yung, uh, yung circle, yan po yung sa radius. Then, yung distance naman po ito. Ayan. Now, find the circumference. So, ang formula po ng circumference, C is equals to pi r. So, the distance around the circle. So, ito po yung 1.5 cm po yung ating radius. So, ang formula, C is equals to pi r. So, ang pag-solve po natin, C is equals to 2 pi, then 1.5 po yung radius natin. So, multiply nyo lang po yan, 1.5 times 2. So, therefore, the circumference of a circle is 3 pi, uh, 3 pi centimeter.
So, yun na po yung sagot na ating uh, circumference of a circle. The next, define the area of the circle. So, yung area po ng circle natin, A is equal to pi r squared. So, kung ang diameter po is 8 inches. Ayan. So, ang radius po natin is 4. So, A is equal to pi r squared. So, substitute lang po natin. So, ang radius po natin is 4. So, therefore, yung area po is 16. Nasundan po ba? Nasundan niyo po ba? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, next, composite geometric figures na po tayo. Composite geometric figures are made from two or more geometric figures. Example, so, sa makikita niyo po dito na figure, Ayan, i-separate po natin. Diba, rectangle po siya, tapos nag-plus po tayo ng half circle. Ayan. So, ayan po yung composite geometric figure. Plus po yung ginamit natin dito, kasi makikita niyo po dyan sa figure na yan. Rectangle plus half circle. Then, next example, composite figure. Ano po ang magiging, ano niyo ninyo dito, addition or subtraction? Subtraction ba? Subtraction po. Okay. Kasi po, rectangle po yan. Binawasan po siya ng, ayan. Very good. Now, find the perimeter of the following composite figure. Sige nga, try nyo nga po sagutan. Find the perimeter of the following composite figure. Ayan, so yung rectangle po natin, yung width niya is 8, and then yung length niya is 15. So ano kaya ang magiging uh, sides po nitong half round? Kung ang rectangle po ay meron siyang width na 8, and then yung length niya is 15. Try nyo nga po sagutan. Forty-six, ma'am. Sige, taantayin natin yung iba niyong kaklase. Pwede niyo pong i-comment po dito. Tingnan natin kung tama yung ano nyo. Pwede niyo po comment po dito yung sagot niyo guys. Kung ang rectangle po yung width niya is 8, then yung length niya is 15. So ano naman po yung ano, yung sukat po nito ni half circle. Diba yung perimeter of partial rectangle po, diba partial po muna itong rectangle, so meron po tayong 38. Kasi po 15, 15 po yung sa length niya, and then yung width naman is 8, so 38. So ang isusog nyo na lang po ay yung, uh, yung kay half circle na lang. Sige. Sige, tingnan natin kung tama po ang sagot ninyo. Ano po ang sagot ninyo? Kay Joriel Talan, 16. Tapos kay Franklin, 46. Yung kay half round po, ano po yung ano niya? I mean half circle. Ano po yung perimeter niya? Okay, tingnan na po natin. Ayan. Half a circle with diameter. So, di ba mapapansin ninyo, 
yung width po ng rectangle, di ba, 8. So, ngayon, half circle with a diameter is 8. So, ang radius po niya is 4. Tama? So, kasi half po yung, ang radius po kasi start po siya sa center. So, 4 po yung maging radius ng ating uh, half circle. Ayan. So, circumference of half circle, half is equal to 2 pi, 4 is equal to 4 pi. So, meaning, yung perimeter of a composite figure is equal to 38 plus 4 pi. May nakakuha ba ng sagot? So, by Franklin, 46. 42 po yung magiging sagot po siya. Okay, next. Find the perimeter of the following composite figure. Ayan. Kung mapapansin ninyo, may mga kulang-kulang. So, kuhanin ninyo kung ano po ba yung sukat nito. So, ito po ay letter A. So, question mark po yan, A and B. So, yan po yung kukunin ninyo. Sige nga. Try nyo nga pong isolve. Ano po ang value ni letter A? Tapos ano po ang value ni letter B? So, ito po yung perimeter niya. We have 28 plus 60 plus 12 plus 42 plus B plus A. So, ano kaya ang value ni B at ni A? Paano kaya kunin yun? Okay, so ang sabi niya, ano, ang A is 18. Ang sabi ni Joris Falls, uh, ni Catherine, ang A is 18. Okay, correct po yan, 18. Yung B naman, ano naman po yung B? Ang B po natin ay... Ayun, tama ang sagot ni uh, ni Catherine Ramirez, 14. Ayan, so tingnan na po natin. So, ang pagkuha lang po niyan, sa letter A, una po nating solve yung letter A. Diba yung makikita niyo sa pinakataas, 60 po yung kanyang asukat. And then sa baba, dahil nga kinuha natin yung sa letter A, so 60 minus 42, ang sagot po ay 18. So, 18 po yung letter A natin. Ayan. And then, next naman, yung sa letter B naman po yung kunin natin. Kung mapapansin ninyo, 28 po yung dito sa, sa left side. And then, yung sa kabila naman is 12. Ima minus nyo lang po yun. So, 28 minus 12, the answer is 16. May nakakuha ba na 16? So, wala pala na ako. 16 po yung sa letter B. Kasi, di ba, tingnan nyo, 16, kapag ipa-plus po natin sa 12, yung buo niya po is 28. So, 16 po yung sa letter B. Ayan. So, isubstitute na po natin para makuha na po natin ang kabuuan ng perimeter ng rectangle. Ay, itong composite figure. So, 28 plus 60 plus 12 plus 42 plus 16 plus 18 the answer is 176. So, may nakakuha po ba ng tamang sagot? May nakakuha po ba? Wala po. Na. So, tingnan niyo po maigi kung paano siya nakuha. 28 po dito sa kabilang side. And then, yung dito naman, sa right side is 12. So, 28. Ima-minus nyo lang po sa 12 para makuha natin yung B. So, 16 po yung sagot. 28 minus 12 is 16. Kapag ipag-plus nyo si 16 plus 12, so 28 po yung sagot. Okay? Sa letter A naman, ang letter A, di ba 18 po ang nakuha natin. Kasi si 60, bawasan po natin ng 42, 18 po. So, 18 plus 42, 60. Ayan. Okay, next. Find the area of the figure. Ayan. Paano po yung gagawin dyan? Una po kunin ninyo ay yung triangle. Ayan. Sige nga, try nyo po muna yung solve yan. 
specify the area of the figure. So, may triangle po tayo at meron din tayong rectangle. So, kunin niyo po muna itong sa triangle. Ayan. Tapos, yung ka rectangle. After pag nakuha niyo po yung area ni rectangle at saka ni triangle, ipag-plus niyo po yun. So, ano po yung magiging sagot? So, ang sagot ni Ivan, yes, 36. 24 naman kay Talan. Ayan, so tingnan na po natin. Sa area of triangle, kita times lang po natin yan. This times height is 24. Then, i-divide to natin. Half. Half times base times height. So, 8 times is 24. I-divide natin sa 2. So, the answer is 12. So, area of triangle is 12. And then, yung kay rectangle naman. Ano po ang sagot ni rect uh, area of rectangle? Sino po kayo nakakuha ng tama? 24 naman. Okay. So, kay area of triangle is 24. And then, ano po ang gagawin natin? Ito na po ba yung mga sagot nila? Or meron pa po? Ipag-add po. Yeah. Alright. Ayan. So, area of figure, uh, area of triangle plus area of the rectangle. So, we have 12 plus 24. So, therefore, 36 po yung area ng figure na nandito. Okay? So, 36. So, may nakakuha po ba ng tamang sagot? Ayan. Very good. Okay. Next. Find the area of the figure. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, anong shapes kaya ito? Square. Oblong. Mm -hmm. Rectangle. Ayan. Okay, so, solve nyo nga po yan. Find the area of the figure. Paano po natin kunin? O ang diameter niya is 4. Ayan, makikita nyo po yan. 4 po yung diameter, tapos yung radius is 2. So, paano niyo po siya isusolve? May nakakuha na po ba ng tamang sagot? 18, ma'am. Sige, tingnan natin. So, yung area of a circle, di ba, pi 2 squared is equals to 4 pi. So, ang area of a circle, di ba, pi r squared. So, ang radius po natin is 2. So, i-substitute po natin. So, therefore, ang area po natin ng circle is 4 pi. And then, yung area of the half circle, so, ang i-divide lang po natin, si 4, divide 2. So, therefore, the area of a circle is 2 pi. Since, yung makikita nyo po dito sa unang larawan, uh, half round lang po siya. Kaya, hinati po natin yung, uh, yung area ng circle. So, kaya 2 pi po yung sagot. Then, kay rectangle naman, di ba, 4 times 3.5 is 14. So, the area of the figure, di ba, yung area po ng rectangle, ima-minus lang po natin yung cut-out area. So, 14, kung 14 po yung area of, uh, area of rectangle is 14, ima-minus po natin yung cut-out area, which is 2 pi. So, ayan na po yung sagot. 13 minus 2 pi square units. So, therefore, 12 po yung sagot. Nasundan po. Yes po. Okay, next. 
A walkway 2 meters wide surrounds a rectangular plot of grass. Then the plot is 30 meters long and 20 meters wide. So what is the area of the walkway? So paano po natin to isolve? Again, a walkway 2 meters wide surrounds a rectangular plot of grass. And then the plot is 30 meters long and 20 meters wide. What is the area of the walkway? Paano po natin siya isolve? So, what are the dimensions of the big rectangle, grass, and walkway? Ito po yun. Yung width po natin, we have 2 plus 20 plus 2. Yan po yung width natin. Meron po tayong 2 plus 20 plus 2 is equal to 24. Then, yung length naman, yung length, 2 plus 30 plus 2 is equal to 34. So, therefore, the big rectangle has area of, ano po, 24, ito times natin sa 34, meron pong 816 meters squared. Now, ang tanong po dito, what is the area of the walkway? Kung ang big rectangle, kung may area siya na 816, paano naman po yung itong nasa loob? Ano po ang sagot niyo dito? So, what are the dimensions of the small rectangle grass? Itong nasa loob. Kung ang big rectangle has area 816, so what are the dimensions of the small rectangle? Sige nga, try nyo nga po ang sagutan. Paiba niyo 704, kay Ramirez 704, and then yung kay Ibanez, sabi niya may extra 2 pa pala. Sige nga, try nyo nga po ang sagutan. Tingnan natin kung may makakuha ng tamang sagot. Okay, so tingnan na po natin. Ang gawin niyo po dito, 20 times 30. So the small rectangle has area 600. Ayan, kita niyo naman hindi niyo na po siya kailangan pang i-add yung 2 kasi yun po yung sa rec yung yung may mga plus 2 dito, yan po yung big rectangle. So, ang kunin na lang po natin itong small rectangle na may area po siya na 20 by 30, so therefore 600 meters square. Now, ano po ang next natin gagawin? The area of the walkway is the difference between the big and the small rectangle. So, i-minus nyo lang po yan kung ano po yung difference nila. Si 816, yung sa big rectangle, minus po natin sa small rectangle, which is 600. So, therefore, the difference between the big and the small rectangles is 216. May nakakuha po ba ng tamang sagot? 216. Wala. Na, nasundan niyo po ba ako? Opo, ma'am. Okay. So, next, find the area of the shaded region. Ayan. Square po yan siya. So, may mga nawawala na naman po. Kailangan niyo po siyang isusolve. So, paano yan? So, di ba square yan? So, yung side po niya is 10. Paano po kunin natin dito? Sige nga, kayo nga muna mag-solve the analyze ninyo. Find the area of the shaded region. Ang hirap, ma'am. <laughs> 20, ma'am. 
Kaya niyo po yan. Ayan, so find the area of the shaded region. Okay, so yung area of the square, di ba ang formula po ng area of the square natin is S squared. So, ang side po ng lahat ng square natin dito is 10. I squared yun lang po yan. So, therefore, the area of the square is 100. Yan. Nakuha na po natin yung area ng square natin which is 100. So, next naman po, itong, ano, may nagsagot na po ba? Tignan natin. Okay, yung Paitalan, 40, kay D. Guzman, 25. Okay, so isolve na po, uh, tingnan na po natin dito. Ayan, kung mapapansin ninyo, ito po yung square. Tapos, kinat po itong ano. Ayan. Ang, ang diameter po dito sa circle is 10. Tama po ba? Diba? Ang side po ni square is 10. So, therefore, yung diameter po ng circle natin is 10. So, since square po yan, kinat po natin itong side by side. So, ang magiging radius po natin is 5. So, 5 po yung radius natin. So, area of each circle, meron pong fa, uh, pi, 5 squared is equals to 25 pi. So, ibig sabihin, 25 po yung area of each circle. So, may 25 na po tayo. Balitin ko po, ang area po ng ating uh, bawat circle is 25. Then, one-fourth of the circle cuts into the square. So, ito po yung square na to. Mapapansin nyo po yung square na yan. Nag-cut po ng one-fourth. One-fourth po yung kinat dyan. But, we have four. Okay, so may apat po tayo dyan. So, ang mangyayari nito, four, i-times po natin sa one-fourth. Four sides po yan siya lahat. Ita times natin sa 1 4 times 25 cuts into the area of the square. So, therefore, the area of the shaded region is equals to the area of a square. So, isolve din you guys. Yung area of a square is 100. Diba? So, 100 po yung area of a square. And then, yung area cut out by circle, ilan na po? Kung 4, ita times natin sa 1 4 One, ma'am. Ano po ang magiging sagot? One po. One, ma'am. Okay, one. Times 25. 25. 20, 25. Ano po? So, 25. Ngayon, ang area of square is 100. Bawasan po natin ng ilan po ang iba minus natin? 25. 25. So, therefore, 75 po yung area of the shaded region. Okay? Ayan. May nakakuha po ba ng tawang sagot? Ayan, nakakuha po ni D. Guzman. Ang galing. So, ayan. Yun, ang bilis. Tapos na po pala tayo. Ayan, so thank you for listening. So, i-stop sharing ko muna ito. Meron na akong idadagdag sa algebraic naman. Uh, sa algebra naman po ito, no? Stop sharing ko muna, then may ipapresent ako na panibago. For additional na lang po ito. Okay, guys. So, feeling ko, may mga iilan po sa inyo dito na medyo nalilito po sa pagdating dito. Sa word phrases to expressions. Tama po ba? Kaya, naisipan ko na magdadagdag po nito. Actually, geometry po yung aking uh, na-assign po sa akin. And then, ito po ay for additional kasi uh, mabilis lang po tayo. Mabilis lang po tayo natapos sa uh, topic ko na geometry. So, ito po for additional lang po ito. Okay? Ayan. So, translating word phrases to expressions. Then, translating word sentences to equations. So, yun po yung ating i-discuss ngayon. Ayan. 
Translating phrases. So, yung addition po dito, meron po tayong uh, sum plus. So, take note po nito guys. Kapag may makita kayong sum plus more than added to increase by. So, that is E addition. And then, yung subtraction. Uh, minus, subtracted from, difference of, uh, less than, decrease by, or less. So, subtraction po yun. Then, yung sa multiplication naman, product, twice, times, multiplied by, of, and then, uh, divided by, quotient, uh, divided by, quotient, ratio, divided into. So, yan po ay sa division naman po. Okay? Malinaw po ba? Opo. Yes, boom. Okay, next. Yung sa operation naman, translating phrases. So, start na po tayo dito sa word phrases naman. Operation, then yung variable expression. So, basahin po muna natin dito sa word phrases. Sum number plus 3. So, sum number plus 3, si plus, yung operation po ni plus is added. Addition. Ayan. Then, yung variable expression po is sum number plus 3. So, sum number plus 3, hindi po, na, uh, hindi po nakalagay kung ano po yung number na yun. Sum number. So, yung variable expression po niya is x plus 3. Okay? So, next word process po ay 3 added to sum number. So, 3 added to some numbers. Si 3, that is a number 3, added to some number. So, yung added, the operation is addition. And then, the next, uh, alam nyo guys, marami pong mga word phrases na kailangan nyo po siyang i-analyze. No? Yung, for example, dito, the sum of some number and 3. Then, the next one is 3 more than some number. So, yung variable expression niya is x plus 3. Kapag may makita po kayo dito plus added to sum more than increase by, so yung operation po na gagamitin is addition. Okay? Next one is subtraction naman. So yung word phrases niya is sum number minus 6. Ayan. So minus, so subtraction po siya. 6 subtracted from sum number. So y minus 6. Then, the difference of sum number and 6. Ayan. So, difference, the subtraction. And then, 6 less than sum number. So, y minus 6. The next one is sum number decreased by 6. So, y minus 6. So, decrease. And then, yung less. So, subtraction po yun. Ayan. Marami po dyang nakalagay dyan. So, next. Translating phrases, so ganyan pa din. So, dito naman po tayo sa multiplication, exponents, and roots. So, yan po yung operation. And then, yung word phrases. So, twice some number. Guys, please take note po nito kasi may sasagutan po kayo nito after po nito. Okay? So, twice some number. So, two times A, yung variable expression niya. So, kahit anong constant po na ilalagay nyo dito, pwede po yun. Twice some number. Then, 2 times some number. Kasi wala na kung nakaano. Pero mostly po ang ginagamit is letter A. No? The product of 2 and some number. Mapapansin niyo po dito nakahighlight yung twice times product and then multiplied. So, that is multiplication po. Then, the next one is exponents. So, C squared. So, paano po i-write natin into variable expression? So, write niyo na po yung C. That was exponents. Squared. Then the square of C, C to the second power. Ayan. So, ganun na po yung pag, pag pagsulat po tayo ng word phrases ng variable na C is squared. So, marami po siyang uh, word phrases na pwede natin gawin. Hindi lang po siyang C is squared, pwede po siyang the square of C or C to the second power. Ayan. Then, meron pang uh, K cubed. Diba? K cube, then K to the third power, the cube of K. Ayan. Then the last naman is yung roots, the square root of X. So wala na po siyang ibang word phrases na pwede natin uh, gamitin, kundi the square root of X lang po siya. Okay? Next is the division. Ayan. Word phrases, some number divided by 5. 
So, divided by, that is division, and then the quotient of some number and 5. So, we have x divided by 5. So, the ratio of some number and 5. So, 5 divided into some number. Ayan. Some number kasi hindi po siya naka-indicate kung ano po yung number na identify po natin. Okay? Ayan. So, ito naman po yung translating presses, the keywords. Some di indicate the answer of the respective operations. So, sum of x and 3. So, ito naman, di ba, sum of x and 3, so x plus 3. Then, difference of x and 3, so x minus 3. Then, the product of x and 3, so x times 3 or 3 times x. Then, the quotient of x and 3, x divide 3 or x over 3. Ayan. Next, the product of a number and 4. So, 4x lang po siya. The product of a number and 4, 4x. Then, the sum of a b cube and 7. So, b cube plus 7. Madali lang po ba? Ano? Madali lang po ba, guys? Then, the next y7 added to the quotient of x and y. So, ganun lang po siya. Then, the next one is a number subtracted from 8. Makinig po kayo kasi mamaya po may itatanong po ako sa inyo. May mga uh, kailangan niyong sagutan, no? Then, next po, 9 divided into a number. So, 5 more than 2 times a number. So, 5 plus 2x or 2x plus 5. Kahit saan at kahit magkabalikan po yan, so tama po yung magiging sagot ninyo. Habaw, 5 more than 2, pwede uh, 2 times a number. So, 5 plus 2x or 2x plus 5. Ayan. Next naman, 7 times the sum, yung sum point of a and b. So, A plus B, then 7 times, 7 times uh, quantity A plus B. Then, the product 5X of 5. The product of 5, so, ang paglagay niyo po in the product of 5, so 5X and a number minus the sum of X plus 2. So, ang pagsulat niyo po dito, hindi po ganito ha, yung may naka-X na red. So, ang tama po is 5X minus X plus 2. Ayan, malapit na po tayo matapos. Uh, the sum of A and B, so A plus B, divided by the difference of A and B. So A plus B, divide po natin sa A minus B. Ayan, so 12 less than 3 times a number. Ano po ang magiging sagot niyo dito? Pakicomment na lang po. Tignan natin kung ano po ang sagot ninyo dito. 12 less than 3 times a number. So, ano po ang sagot ninyo dito? Letter A, 3N plus 12. Letter B, 12 minus 3N. Then, number, letter C, 3N minus 12. Then, letter D, 3N times 12. So, ano po ang sagot ninyo dito? Tignan natin. 12 less than 3 times a number. 12, less than 3 times a number. Mm -hmm. Ang sagot po nila ay letter B. Tingnan po natin kung ano ang tamang sagot dito. May pahagol pa po ba? Tandaan, 12 less than 3 times a number. So, ang sagot po ay letter C. Correct si Talan. Ayan, may pahagol si Talan. Ayan. 12 less than 3. Diba? Mau si 12 less than 3 times a number. So, the correct answer is letter C. Okay, next. The difference of A and B. The difference of A and B. Difference po nila ni A and B decrease by, by ha? By the sum of W and Z. Z. Again, 
What is the difference of A and B? So, i-write nyo po yung difference ng A and B, decrease by. Mga sino, ano po ba yung mauuna doon? Decrease by, ha? Decrease by the sum of W and Z. The difference of A and B, decrease by the sum of W and Z. Tingnan natin, ano ang sagot? So, maraming nagsagot ng letter A. The difference of A and B decreased by the sum of W and Z. So, yan. Correct. Ang dami nang nakakorek letter A. Very good, guys. Ayan. So, next. Okay. So, next. Uh, translating word sentences naman po ito, no? Operation po natin dito is equals. Word phrases. Please remember po guys, pag equals, ang ano, ito po yung mga word phrases. Pag may magkita kayong is, uh, is, is equal to, is the same as, produces, yields, results in. Itong yields, yan, produces, results in. Yan po yung mga word phrases na kung saan equals po yan siya. Okay? Ayan. So, try, ito guys, ah, uh, Makinig po kayo mabuti dito kasi may sasagutan naman po kayo. No? 15 more than a number is negative 7. So kung 15 more than, so 15 plus x is equals to negative 7. So ang pagsulat po dito, 15 plus x is equals to negative 7. So paano po natin siya masusolve? So 15... Ima minus lang po natin dito si 15 para si x ilagay po natin dito. Negative 7 plus negative 15, the answer is negative 22. Ayan. Then next po, 13 more than the product of 4. So kung makikita nyo dito, uh, 13 plus 4x is equals to 9. Yields is equals. Ayan, di ba? Pinakita ko sa inyo yung word phrases na equals, may yields po nakalagay. So, 13 more than the product of 4 and a number yields is 9. So, ang pagsulat po dito, 13 plus 4x is equals to 9. So, minus lang po natin sa 13, both side po ng 9 at saka yung sa 13. So, 13 minus 13 Cancel na po natin yon, So, ang matitira po si 4x. So, 9, positive 9 plus 13. So, magiging uh, negative 4 po yan. And since unlike sign po sila, so, isa-subtract po lang. Isa-subtract lang po natin siya. And then, ikakapi natin yung biggest number sa Ano po yung pinaka-biggest number dito? ba 13. So, ang sign ni 13 is negative. So, therefore, yung sign po natin is negative. So, 4x, i-divide po natin sa 4. Ito, 4x divided by 4, cancel na po. So, x na lang po ang matitira. And then, negative 4 divide positive 4 is equal to negative 1. Okay, next. 3 times the difference of a number and 5 is equal to 7 times the number. Then, minus 12. Again. 3 times the difference of a number at 5. Difference of a number and 5, ah. So, number, ibig sa wala po siyang, uh, wala po siyang constant number, kuya, x po ang gamit natin. Number and 5 is equal to 7 times the number minus 12. So, ayan, naka-indicate na po dito. 3 it times natin sa x minus 5. Ito po yung the difference of a number at 5. Naka-close parenthesis po si x minus 5. Equals. Is equal to 7x. 7x kasi 7 times the number. Kaya 7x minus 12. Okay? Now, si 3x, i-multiply na po natin dito si 3 times x is equal to 3x minus 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Is equal to 7x minus 12. So, i-minus po natin siya sa 7x. So, 3x minus 7x, that is negative 4x. Then, copy po natin si negative 15 is equal to 
cancel na po natin itong 7x, itong dito, 7x minus 7x, cancel na po siya, and then bring down natin si negative 12. Next, negative 4x, si 15. Ipa-plus po natin dito si 15. So, negative 15 plus 15, um, ano na po ito, cancel na po yan. Then, ang matitira po, ito na lang. Negative 12 plus 15, the answer is positive 3. Bakit positive? Kasi si 15 is a bigger number than 12, and then yung sign ni 15 is positive. So, therefore, negative 4x, divide po natin sa negative 4, cancel, then matitira si x. So, 3 over 4. The answer is x is equals to negative 3 4. Okay, so next po, try nyo po sagutan ito. Ayan, 32 less than 3 times a number is 15. Okay, ano po ang sagot nyo dito? Thirty-two less than three times a number is fifteen. Thirty-two less than three times a number is fifteen. Okay, so maraming nagsagot ng letter A. Ang tamang sagot is letter B. 3.32. Diba? 32 less than. Less than siya kay 3 times. 3x is equals to 15. Ayan. Marami po talagang nagkakamali dito. 32 less than. 32 less than po kay 3x or 3 times a number is 15. Next. Ayan. The quotient of 4. The quotient of 4 less than a number. The quotient of 4 less than a number and 5 is the same as the number divided by A. Again, the quotient of 4 less than a number and 5 is the same as the number divided by 8. So the number divided by 8. The quotient of 4 less than a number and 5 is the same as the number divided by 8. Ang tamang sagot is letter D. Ayan, maraming nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Letter D, ayan, no? The quotient of 4 less than a number. So, less than, ma ma less than dun kay N or the number. And 5 is the same as the number. So, same as, so ibig sabihin, yung equals niya, divide din po siya, the number divided by 8. So, letter D po ang, letter D po ang sagot. Ayan. So, tapos na po yung ating discussion, guys. So, thank you for listening. Ayan. So, um, meron po ditong quotes. Math may not teach us how to add. Love or subtract hate, but give uh, but it give us hope that every problem has a solution. Okay, so once again, thank you guys for listening. Sana may may natutunan po kayo sa ating discussion today. Ma'am, thank you so much, Ma'am Mila. So, sa kahit gaano talaga karami yung side natin, uh, we're still able to identify yung unique, unique natin and yung use natin. And also, thank you, Ma'am Mila, for taking the initiative na to pay attention kung saan nahihirapan yung mga students natin. Kasi it's simple na to read or analyze lang yung word to convert it to formula. So, um, tapos mahirap pala siya, di ba? So, thank you, Ma'am Mila, for spending your weekend with us and have a blessed weekend. Salamat po, Mamila. Much appreciated po.